And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. Ken Wenzong gives a heartfelt speech. And she was a little sad, a little teary-eyed. And it's understandable. She's only 19, ladies and gentlemen. And this was a great tournament she played. She just ran into someone a little bit more technical, a little bit more fundamental. And someone that just... She's more solid. I mean, Ken Wenzong, at some points during this match, her first serve was 40%. And we already know, I've reported many times at her return game, she only wins, you know, about 22% of them. So the fact that her first serve was off so bad, unbelievable. Sam Sonova wins this match in straight set, 7-5, 7-5. And look, during the business end of each set is when Zong just... She couldn't hold up, and that's when she collapsed, you know, being broken on the 11th game of each set. Very, very tough. Tough way to lose because, I mean, just one service game away from a tiebreak where anything can happen. And Ken Wenzong, is, she's got one of the best tiebreak records this year of all the ladies on tour. But nonetheless, your champion is Sam Sanova. Raised a Chinese flag. Great, great job from Ken Wenzong. Great job. She played a great tournament. And she's got a bright future, ladies and gentlemen. I've been saying this for a very long time. When she beat Sloane Stevens at Wimbledon, I'm like, oh, wow. When she stole a set from Iga Swiatek. And listen, guys, I don't want to be preachy, but the players that show great integrity, I always praise them. I love Ange Jabeur. Ken Wenzong, uh, maybe she was a bit out of line when she talked about how Rebikina's Wimbledon title should be hers. That was a bit, that was a bit immature. I gotta be honest with you. But Sam Sonova's classy. She says she's been upset, especially when she won Cleveland and Washington, that her Russian flag wouldn't be displayed. But listen, that's understandable. You know, I mean, that's the the things that are going on. You know. Listen, Sam Sanova, however, is a classy lady. She's she's a woman of few words. She reminds me of Bernarda Pera, who just doesn't have much to say after she wins. Amazing. Unbelievable. But listen, guys, Sam Sanova takes Tokyo WTA 500 level event, the biggest accomplishment of her young career so far. But here's the question. What is next for Ken Zhang? Stay tuned. Good energy reporting. We have Jelena Ostapenko and another Russian player. That's right, Alexandrova. They're about to serve off right now, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a great match. 11 p.m. here on the West Coast. I can't wait to see that match. Do I have a prediction for it? Yes, I know what's going to happen in that match. But listen, guys, I've given out over a 1,000 free picks this year, guys. Free I'm the best. Just admit it.